Hello everybody and welcome back to another Toon Kind at 12 FPS. My name is Avi and today I'll be playing a certain uh, gymnast named uh, Kiyo Yamazaki. And with me today is my wonderful, wonderful, lovely, amazing friend whom I adore very much. Bites you. <laughs> I am bit. Hi, I'm Marzi, and I'll be playing- Oh god, I almost defaulted to the other character name. Um, I'm playing Leonardo Layton, not Maris. I almost immediately said Maris. What's Wrong Maris character. doing in Yeto? <laughs> Why would Maris be in Yeto? Don't worry about it, they're not. I'm playing Leo. <laughs> you may ask yourself, how did I get here? <laughs> This isn't my beautiful apartment. These are my beautiful siblings. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Eddie Hoosies, yes. My little, my little redhead boy. My little barista boy. My polite little boy. Who is so very normal. <laughs> He's very, very normal. Uh... And you're so normal, normal, in fact, you decided to go sightseeing today. Woo. Yes, because that's what, that's what normal tourists do. Absolutely. You fit that role so very well. You're getting a good grade at, do, <laughs> at being a normal tourist, which is both a normal thing to want and possible to achieve. <laughs> <laughs> is he going by himself? Maybe so. Will it worry the rest of the people he's traveling with? Maybe so. You probably, like, texted uh, someone saying where you were going, at least. At the very least, texted Camille. And Tome. Yeah. But only that. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Uh, oh god, because almost all of his brothers are here on this trip, and they would all fucking worry the shit out of him. At? If not... Uh, if not texting someone, you probably just wandered away from whoever you were, like, traveling with because you saw <laughs> something cool. You just saw something kind of rad, and as, as teenagers are wont to do sometimes, he just wandered off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's a, he's a very, very curious little, little teenager, teenage boy, uh... He smelled takoyaki. I mean, that's possible. Uh, because... It is one of his favorite foods. <laughs> uh, so you're in a district called Otaimu, which mm. is... Uh, which is currently hosting or getting ready for some sort of, like, fall kind of festival. Seems mm. more, like, uh, related to, like, uh, stuff to do with the harvest and whatnot. Um... It does seem to be a little bit of, like, spooky stuff going around. All that fun stuff. Um, which is probably why you smelled something good. Uh, because with the turning of the seasons, there there is, a uh, a change in menus, so to speak. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, but you, uh, are following the, uh, the path, probably, like, sightseeing, looking around... And you probably wandered off from from Arata specifically because we all know what Arata is like. Don't uh, worry about it. <laughs> My cats are being dumb in the background, so I'm so sorry if you hear them yelling. It's okay. You know the kind of background noise I live with. <laughs> I I would hope that I speak louder than a cat's meow. <laughs> <laughs> you are the cat's meow. <laughs> <laughs> God fucking damn it. I love you so much. Love you. <laughs> oh, where was I? Um Uh goddamn. So, um you're probably like wandering around seeing all these people like get ready for uh this like uh sort of festival situation going on. Um but Yes! Uh, you're following down the path, uh, and there is a point where the, uh, the typical, like, touristy things, such as, like, things to do in restaurants and mm. whatever, changes, and you're 
on the like more back end of a uh what looks like a construction site like yes it is like fenced off so like people just can't walk in the area um but there is definitely a building being in the process of being built um in this area and uh Standing pretty close by, um, is a individual with, a uh, bright red hair in a ponytail with a ribbon in it. <laughs> See, my first two thoughts that Leo handed me were, Oh god, I'm not in the tourist area anymore, I'm lost. Uh-oh. <laughs> and also, fence- Climb. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm whacking him away from that second option. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm holding Leo and it's like, yes, I know you're a criminal, but calm down. <laughs> <laughs> you can't just go climbing fences in Yeddo. Yeah, you're in a you're in an entirely different country, my dude. Yeah, but see, the, the rule of funny would not apply here. This is a real kind country. These, these things are, like, pretty high, too. Like, um... Uh... It's, uh words. They're, they're tall. Mm. It's not something you can probably, like, jump and, like, pull yourself over easily. Uh... Without rule of funny, you will probably get hurt. <laughs> Yeah. And you are only half tuned, so. Yeah. <laughs> the tune is not strong enough for him to, to be able to roll away from that. Yeah. He's still half human. Oh, yeah. So he's just. He's. You know that stance? That, that stance in, like, westerns where, like,. Their arms are kind of out, but, like, bent at the elbow down. Yes! <laughs> yeah, Leo is that stance, but, like, kind of concerned because he doesn't know where he is anymore. Just, oh, okay. <laughs> Just, oh. And, um... Oh, my God. Meow. Yeah. My cats made me lose my train of thought. <laughs> you are lost. <laughs> I'm lost. Leo Where... is also lost. Where is my brother? <laughs> oh, jeez. Avi, is your mic okay? Is it? It started, like, beeping. Like a high-pitched sort of staticky beep. Uh, hang on. We're professionals. Uh, is it still beeping or? Uh, it stopped after a bit. I don't hear it again. I've Should literally never good? heard this before. Hopefully, Hold it didn't you catch on recording. Fingers crossed. I. Ugh, hiccups. So Leo, seeing this, 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 uh, she's a young lady. Yeah. She's, like, what, in her 20s? Uh, she is younger than Arada, and Arada is going to be turning 20 soon, so... Oh my god, they're really close in age, actually! Yeah! <laughs> Holy shit! She, she's, she's like... She's, like, 18, 19-ish. So, Leo, uh... <laughs> releases from his stance. You just relax. <laughs> this is no longer and high noon. <laughs> it is no longer high noon. Um, and he kind of sheepishly walks over and his very strong Ghibli accented Yiddish is going to ask this person where he is. Hang on, hang on, hang on. 
day of together myself for this because um I don't think she's ever heard this accent before. <laughs> you can just tell he's a foreigner. <laughs> because the dialect is like pretty much the same. It is mm. literally just accent. And, yeah. And you see as um as this young lady turns around to face you and kind of blinks because oh boy, that was an accent. You're not from here. <laughs> like oh Um, yeah you you're a foreigner (laughs) and then also you're half tuned oh yeah so he looks kind of funky yeah and uh she she blinks and like there's like a pause where she realized that like oh wait you actually asked her something (laughs) (laughs) too concerned by the thought of oh that was a little fucked up (laughs) to (laughs) hear And, uh, and she, I think she says, oh, you're an Otaima. Otaimu, sorry, I can word. I love you. Leo kind of nods and glances around and is, uh, do you know how to get back to, uh, sort of tourist area? I lost my brother. (laughs) <laughs> and like, hang on, I gotta, I gotta, I, I think it'd be funny if I rolled for her for this. Cause she is, uh, okay, yeah, that checks out. What is your modifier? I literally just made your, sh- oh dear. <laughs> um, okay. Um, I think... I think that's enough to, like, put two and two together, because she is Arata's friend. Yes. Uh, she would know that, like, people in, uh, from Einquil are coming over. Uh, I think she, there's another- Ooh, excuse me. There's another moment of pause before she kind of, like, adjusts and says, uh, Wait a minute, aren't you, um, aren't you Satomi Senpai's friend? There's a blink. As Leo was like, wait, how do you know that? And then he remembers, oh yeah, I'm half tuned. <laughs> <laughs> so he almost goes back to that stance, and then he's like, oh yeah. <laughs> He's like, uh, yeah, Arata, uh, was my older brother. And then there's a- another beat, this time in the comedic sense, and she's just- Oh, he has another brother. (laughs) (laughs) Well, how many brothers does this guy have? (laughs) Just distressed. (laughs) That's the third- Brother? Is she saying this? Yeah, she's just like... It's the third brother that he's gotten from Einquell? Ah, uh, there are, um... And Leo starts counting on his fingers. <laughs> it's like, okay, let's see. It's it's Arata, me, Triel, Juby, Sammy, Timmy, uh... Including Arata, there are six of us. Brothers-wise, I mean. I know Arata has a younger sister. You said that there were six brothers. (laughs) And there's, like, this moment where she had, like, uh, an expression that was kind of like this, but pretty distressed. (laughs) And then she, um, but then you mentioned the, uh, uh, Arata's younger sister. <laughs> no, not the gets trolled me. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. What about, what about this one? <laughs> Stop, I was trying to say something. I love you. <laughs> I love you too. 
I'm going to bully both of you. <laughs> um, uh, what does she say? Hmm. You mentioned Arata's younger sister, and she goes, Oh, yeah. Ashikaka-san. Yeah. Um, she's, she's really nice. Um, and then I think there's a moment where, like, she realizes, like, oh, wait, she forgot to introduce uh, herself. And you see her kind of, like, give you a very, um, almost out of nowhere kind of, like, bow. And it's, like, meant as a, like, ugh, words. It's meant as a, like, um, respectful kind of, like, yetish bow at the waist. Mm. And she says, I'm sorry, I forgot to introduce myself. My name is, uh... My name is Keo Yamazaki. I am Satomi Senpai's, uh... Kohai? Kohai. Yeah, there we go. Leo is kind of, like, hands half-raised when she bows because he's pretty sure she's older than him. <laughs> and he's like, um, uh, okay... Uh, it's really nice to meet you, Miss Yamazaki. Uh, I'm- I'm Leo Layton. <laughs> this is just an overly polite girl meeting a polite boy. <laughs> <laughs> They're just so polite! <laughs> polite! Squared! <laughs> He's probably, like, hands, ha like, awkwardly raised, while also kind of bowing back. <laughs> Wonderful. Oh, we're so glad for it. Uh... <laughs> Though, uh... With, with Fletcher here in the audience, Sam was <clears throat> pretty well known in Forsana, right? And with them being, like, so close uh, with Yeto... Would there be a chance of his untimely demise? Also, the news also getting to Yeto. Hmm. I could have her role intelligence or history. Yeah, or a history. Just because, I mean, Leighton, I think we... It might be Bash. I can't remember if this is what we said in Bash, but it's a common. We made it a funny common that last I, name, yeah. A common last name, but also, how many half tune redheads are there with the last name Layton? That was a fourteen. <laughs> You think a 14 is enough, Fletcher? Listen, it's your boy! <laughs> I mean, that's fair, but also, your boy's popularity is yours, so... And with that, and Sam being, like, a decent amount of famous in Forsana. Yeah, Yeto does like its teen detectives. This is even, true. <laughs> even with the 14, it is probably pretty easy to connect the dots of, oh, uh, Forsananian redhead half-tune sets down a redheaded half-tune in front of her. Yeah. Uh, there's probably, like, that, like, look of recognition when you say your name, and, uh, but she's polite. She knows better than to say that out loud. <laughs> Rolls an insight because Leo gets this a lot. Jesus Christ, Leonardo! But so that was a nat 20. <laughs> oh, gosh. 
which means it is a uh, 28 insight. Oh my god. My dude. Jesus. Jesus Christ, Leonardo. But yeah, no, that was just to, to read the, uh, yeah, she recognizes the name. Yeah, she recognizes the name, but at least she's not saying anything about it. Yeah. Oh, but we do need to get some way to breach into the- oh yeah, we have a lot in common. Leo kind of, like, sees that on her face and just kind of shrugs and is just, yeah, I knew at least one person would have to connect the dots between me and my brother while we're here. Oh. Or Sanan and Yeto are pretty close. No, oh, no, I'm sorry, I, I didn't mean to be rude. I, um... <laughs> she, like, looks like she's... She's not Toon, and this is a real kind country. She looks like if she were a Toon, she would have sweat drops. <laughs> <laughs> Leo, Leo just, like... Like, hands up waving them a little again. It's like, no, no, it's okay. I get this a lot. He was pretty famous. And, like, you see her kind of, like, relax a little bit. And, um, she kind of dips her head apologetically, and she says, I mean, if Nothing else, I suppose, I can kind of understand. Oh, um, famous sibling too, or? Oh, well, not super famous, um, but she was a rising gymnast star, so. Hmm. <laughs> That's kind of why I'm out here. <laughs> and she kind of like makes a vague gesture to the uh to the construction site. Oh. Um Leo kind of peeks through the fence or tries to. Yeah, and like as you do, she kind of uh, she kind of just like uh turns back to face face it. Uh and like she does this thing where her arms kind of like swings at her sides. Um, but she says, uh, this place is, um, well, it's going to be a stadium when it's done. Oh. So, um. Are you a gymnast? Are you gonna try to perform there? <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, I'm, <laughs> how does she word this? She does kind of, like, <laughs> laugh, uh, a little like, the question is kind of funny to her in some way. And, uh, she says, um, how does she phrase this? Um, I, I am a gymnast, yes, and, um, I'm hoping to make it big, uh, in the, the International League. Hmm. Man, that sounds cool. <laughs> it was my sister's and I's big dream. <laughs> and she kind of smiles sheepishly, sheepishly at that before she kind of just glances away after a moment. Leo's kind of rocking on his feet as he thinks about that. And just kind of offhandedly is like, man, that's a, that's a way nicer goal to have the sibling than being thieves. And she she laughs at that, and she's just like, uh, she says, "Are you going to be thieves together?" 
When, well, it was, it was a dumb thing when we were kids. Um, Sen was really, really into Phantom Thieves. <laughs> Wasn't he a detective? That's the funniest part. <laughs> but, yeah, actually, uh, cause we, uh, we chose our names. And, uh... <laughs> yeah, he went by Sam in all the newspapers, but, uh, that was not his real name. And she... blinks, and she looks incredibly interested in this. <laughs> yeah, we, uh, when we were really little, we, we picked our names together. Uh... I chose Leonardo, because it sounded artsy, and he chose Arsene. <laughs> and like, uh, you see, uh, she her see her like burst out into giggles, but like covers her, uh, a hand over her mouth, and like she's trying to hold it back. <laughs> yeah, Leo is quietly laughing too, and he's like, no, yeah, that was his name. So, you can see why he changed it to Sam when he became a detective. <laughs> oh, I- 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 yeah. I can definitely see that, yeah. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, when we were kids, I remember our big dream was to become thieves and this, like, escape into the night all cool and heroically Though I guess not heroically, because we'd be criminals. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, even if it is fanciful, it could be kind of fun. It does sound fun. I... I get to do some of that, at least. Uh, the free-running part. Oh, you do free-running. Yeah, uh, back home. Uh, in, uh, in Ikewell. Some free running, kind of very loosely gymnastics, but not really. I'm mostly a dancer, though. Okay, I have a very funny role that oh. I would love to do. Would you think that this would be medicine or perception? Because <laughs> to see how fucking scrawny he is. Yes. Uh, which one is better? Uh, and that would be her perception. <laughs> Give me a perception. Holy shit! Oh my god. <laughs> That's a 20. Nice! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. Hey, uh, Yamazaki, this kid in front of you who talks about being a free runner and a dancer and very, very loosely kind of a gymnast. Like, he's wearing a baggy cardigan and, like, and, like, dress pants, but he is very, very scrawny and thin for someone who is a dancer and a free runner and very, very loosely a gymnast. <laughs> I want everybody who does not know Persona 5 to know this. <laughs> Yamazaki cooks her own meals. Her meals that are specifically tailored to her calorie intake because of how much she burns while practicing gymnastics. She is an athlete and she takes it very seriously. <laughs> Meanwhile, the scrawny little boy... <laughs> and like, as you're talking about this, Oh, you can see her, like, nodding and nodding, and then there's, like, this moment where it almost looks like a real realization of, like, wait a second. And she kind of, like, <laughs> squints at you. Like, he's probably not as bad as he was when he first met Arata, probably, because there are so many people, like, making sure he eats, but it's not... 
it's not like how Yamazaki's is tailored to her like athletics. Mm -hmm. And like, which is good. Mm. Sorry, there's a fly. Son of a bitch. <laughs> Hang on, I'm getting a phone call. Oh boy. Hi, audience. <laughs> Hi, uh, I I hope you know that there is a uh, a bit in Persona Five Royal where um, Arata and Yamazaki go to eat lunch in the school cafeteria together because Yamazaki made Arata a uh, bento box. Uh, and she says, word for word, that she tried to like take into consideration her like his height and weight. As well as, like, the, like, amount of calories someone his age and, uh, build should be burning. <laughs> and the funniest part about it is that she made it curry-flavored? But up until that point, Arata's been living at La Legree. Which prides itself in its curry. <laughs> it wasn't bad. Arata just couldn't eat because it just tasted like curry. <laughs> and Yamazaki felt so bad. She's just a polite gal. Hello, hi. I heard laughter through coming from my headphones. I don't know what's happening. Oh, I was talking about uh one of the confidant events with Yamazaki. <laughs> mm. Cause she does make Arata a personalized uh, bento box, but it tastes like curry, so Arata can't eat it. <laughs> because it tastes so much like curry. What? Because up until that point uh, in the story, he's been living at Le Legree. <laughs> oh, surviving only off curry. <laughs> All right, I see. I get it now. Yeah. Oh, God. But, like, yeah. Yamazaki sees how, like, thin you are. And, um, there's a moment where, like, you're, like, probably talking a bit. And she's just like, um, I don't mean to be rude, but are you eating enough? So that was a 10 deception. <laughs> I don't yeah! That. <laughs> that doesn't beat her inside. <laughs> he, he just kind of freezes. And uh, he is attuned, so he does get the slut drops. And he's like, yeah! I eat enough. More squinting. <laughs> He's just, <coughs> he's just standing there loudly sweating. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> As I clear my throat. Um, hmm. She, she kind of, like, continues to s squint at him. I think it would be really funny if she did this. Do it. Yeah, she kind of just reaches out and, like, takes hold of your arm. <laughs> and, like, kind of does, like, that, uh... <laughs> a 
Like, he's, like, she's trying to grab, like, trying to get a feel of, like, your muscle tone. <laughs> He's he's very lean. Like he he does have like muscle build, but he's it's very lean and he's very skinny. <laughs> and she she's just I don't think you're eating enough for someone in your profession. The I wouldn't call it a profession. I'm still a high schooler. <laughs> well, even so, dancing and free running it does take up a lot of energy. You need to balance that out, that out with the... Wow. Words and getting distracted by the fly again. Ugh. <laughs> and she, she, she said, she says... Dancing and free running takes up a lot of energy. You need to balance that out with some, you know, a well balanced meal. I eat. Arata fills my fridge with curry all the time, and my aunt gives us chili. I don't think curry and chili counts as balanced meals if that's all you're eating. I mean, I, I have to cook my own food because, well, I happen to take gymnastics really seriously, and she does look a little sheepish at, sheepish at that, but she continues anyway and says, but every single one of my meals is, you know, a little bit of everything so I can keep track of how much calories I'm I'm taking in, you know? And also, I... you're... Still in high school? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> I've just never... I've never had a very big ap appetite. Then... <laughs> She's still squinting at this. Oh, the thought of her squinting at him as, like, she has his wrist in one of her hands. <laughs> and, he's... and, like, Leo is kind of tall. Yeah! You so, are like, tall for, like, a 16-year-old. He's 17. 17-year-old. <laughs> Yeah, he's tall and very thin, and, like, I just, I love the thought of, because, is he taller than her? Let me double check her height. Mm. Does she even have a canon height, is the question. She is 5'4", you're taller than her. <laughs> Please imagine this very tall boy being, like, kind of bullied <laughs> by this small girl. <laughs> you're- you're just- <laughs> God. He's like kind of slouching because she has his arm. <laughs> I think she lets go and like <laughs> she did get a nat 20 on her perception. Mm -hmm. And there's like this pause as she kind of just like looks you up and down as if she's trying to guess your like height and weight. <laughs> yeah, it would be hard because his clothes are kind of baggy, but that was a nat 20 perception. She knows what she's looking for. Yeah. No, 
not to mention, she did get a pretty good feel of your, uh, of, like, how lean your build is. Mm. So, she's just... Hmm. I think what she says is <laughs> Yeah, that's what she's gonna say. She's gonna say Okay, I've made up my mind. I'm going to my... make you a bento box. Uh You you don't have to go through all that trouble. No, it's fine, I don't mind. <laughs> Besides, someone like you should probably be eating a lot more than you are. You're still pretty young and you're going to be growing soon, aren't you? Uh... I mean... I... Uh... <laughs> Leo was just standing here, man! <laughs> probably should start with this. Is there anything you can't eat? Um, coconut. And then she nods and takes this into consideration. <laughs> Man. <laughs> Leo doesn't know how to react, man. At least with other people making him eat. It's like, family member. <laughs> And, and, like, she has this look on her face, like, uh, she has made up her mind about it, she is not letting it go. <laughs> <laughs> you have been on the list of personalized bento boxes now. I mean, Cayman Bear is probably with him, so he shares kind of a- He, he gives Cayman Bear kind of a nervous look, which Cayman Bear kind of just stares back up at him. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, like, imagining Cayman Bear, like, panting. <laughs> yeah, he's he's just sitting. It's like panting slightly. He's having he's vibing. Oh my god, Camembert is there. She would want to pet the dog. Hang on. Good. And no think, one can resist dog. I think after a moment of her just being like nodding to herself as she's like thinking of uh, of a bit of what to make for your bento box, uh, <laughs> <laughs> she kind of like um. Looks down at Camembert, and then she goes, Um, may I pet your dog? Oh, uh, yeah, totally. Uh, and Camembert hops back up onto all fours from sitting down next to him. Yeah. And he gives a little excited yip. Yeah, like, uh, you see, like, uh, Yamazaki just kind of kneel down, and, like, reaches a hand for Cameron Bear to sniff. <laughs> Cameron Bear does a sniff snorf. Sniff snorf. Sniff sniff. And then licks her hand. <laughs> oh! And she giggles at that and just like starts like giving Cameron Bear lots and lots of pets. Yes, good. <laughs> Leo internally, yes, distraction. <laughs> This camera bear is absolutely soaking up the attention. And you just hear like the the usual like um the the usual baby talk who's just like, Oh, you're such a good boy <laughs> whatever. Yeah. <laughs> and like, uh I think after a moment, even while like she's still like giving uh camera bear pets, uh she's like what's his name? Oh, uh, Camembert. Like, like the- Like- Like the cheese. <laughs> he was gonna <laughs> ask! <laughs> yeah, you answered for her anyway! <laughs> I can just imagine her starting with the- like, the- and Leo kind of nodding like- like the cheese. <laughs> Cheese? Latent sauce? Uh, yeah, I, I like cheese. 
I mean, I named him Camembert because he really likes cheese. I think that's kind of cheesy. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> she I has mean, this look on her face, you know, the like, the, the usual... <laughs> the usual, uh, I just made a pun, aren't you going to laugh? <laughs> Leo Leo sighs, but he is smiling because that was the intent. As he's like, I mean, I could have made it worse. He could be named Fondue. <laughs> and she kind of she kind of giggles again, and she says, um, "Oh, you've seen Satomi Senpai's chocolate fountain, haven't you?" Oh yeah. <laughs> he yelled at me when I tried to stick my fingers in it. Don't do that! <laughs> now you sound like him! You don't stick your fingers into chocolate fountains, that's gross! <laughs> I, my hands were clean. They won't be after you stick them in chocolate! <laughs> Maybe so. are going to eat from that it is it it is literally kept personally in his room how many other people are going to be sticking things in that chocolate fountain she gives him a look <laughs> <laughs> you both know errata <laughs> you both know errata you both know how many people he knows. <laughs> there was a pause as Leo takes in that look and he's like, yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> as the baby starts yelling in the background. <laughs> he's just singing. Anyway, um... Uh, but she does kind of look back down at Camembert and, uh, she says, uh, he's a very good boy, though. He is. Very talented. Does he know any tricks? No. <laughs> I'm upset that my mind went to being spotted. <laughs> we won't do that one. <laughs> That one, that one is not one that Leonardo Layton would use. <laughs> That's something Phantom L would do. Uh, as Leo's like, oh yeah, uh, he knows a few. Um, <laughs> as he kind of whistles to get Kim and Bear's attention, and he says, uh. <laughs> Kim and Bear, let's groove. <laughs> they dancing. You know, uh, when when dogs go onto their hind legs and like they hop in a circle. Oh my god! Oh, delightful! <laughs> oh my god! Yamazaki sees this. Like she stands back up and she gives like both of you an applause. <laughs> and then uh there's <laughs> everybody get down <laughs> Kevin Bear lies on his stomach and then rolls over <laughs> <laughs> are these all just like dance <laughs> are almost all of his tricks just him responding to dancing maybe so oh that's a Adorable. Listen, Leo's a dancer. <laughs> Leo's a dancer. It's only it's only emphasizing in her mind more that she should like definitely make sure he's eating enough. Haha, <laughs> you've fallen for the trap. Leo is naturally <laughs> very charismatic and endearing. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Congratulations, you are now friends. <laughs> Friendship unlocked. 
You became friends with Yamazaki. Yamazaki will now cook for you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Um... And I think, uh, she is applauding this, and, um, I think sh what she says... <sighs> God, what does she say? She says, <laughs> You know, Azumi-kun really likes, uh, dogs. You should show him those tricks sometime soon. I should show him those! I know he likes dogs. I know he, he, like, he pet Camembert a lot when they first met. <laughs> Oh, I should definitely show them this. <laughs> I think you'll like it. And she does seem to, like, beam at that, and then looks kind of thoughtful again for a moment. Oh. If you want to... As the baby makes more noise in the background. <laughs> Someone, someone is taking their baby on a walk around this area in a stroller. It's fine. And they got to see a, a dog dance around a little bit. Yeah! <laughs> um, um, do you want to roll insight on my gal? Let's do this. That is a... Uh... I believe that's a modified 22. Mmm, we love disgusting insight rolls. Oh, that's- oh wow. We love disgusting insight mods. That sure is a disgusting, um... <laughs> he got a fucking 14 on the dice. Died. Ugh, awful. Disgusting. Love it. <laughs> um... So she's, uh, she has taken a moment to, like, uh, pause and, like, look a little thoughtful. And, um, but she glances back towards the, like, unfinished stadium. Mm. And, um, even though, like, she looks a little, uh, thoughtful, there is definitely a lot of concern. And because you rolled so mm. disgustingly well. <laughs> Goddamn. Plus eight modifier. I love you so much. And I love AI I love for too. making bullshit rolls. Um, That's not even his highest mod. Yeah! Um, she did just bring up... Um... She did just bring up Azumi, so you c it's probably not that uh, hard to guess that the reason why she, one, looks concerned, and two, brought up Azumi is because she's been thinking about Azumi. Leo kind of very, very casually uh, leans back against the fence, uh, Camembert kind of settling uh, next to him again. Is he's, uh, he's like, do you, I, I assume you know Azumi pretty well. Oh! <laughs> yeah, um, way back when, my, um, when he was still the detective prince, my dad actually owns, uh, no, he doesn't own, he's a, pr uh, my dad was, a producer for one of the radio shows that he used to do interviews for. So, oh. yeah, he. I used my sister and I uh, used to hang out with him a little bit. So, um, and she kind of just does a does a shrug and says, "I guess." You could say I know him pretty well. You're probably pretty worried about him then. And she pauses, but then like nods like, yeah, that's 
pretty obvious, huh? <laughs> In fact, I think she 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 says, "Was it really that obvious?" And Leo kind of quietly laughs, and it's like, probably not to other people, but I mean, and he makes kind of a vague gesture. Uh, I know him from Arata, and uh, my my little brother who uh, worked with him uh, back in Inkwell. And they were all pretty worried when everything happened. I don't know him very well, but whatever is going on feels like a lot. So, I guess if you know him that well, it makes sense if you're gonna worry. I think what she ends up doing is that she she was nodding with you mm. uh, for a little bit of that, but that before she kind of just frowns and kind of just says I... She sighs, kind of like runs a hand through her hair, and she says, I don't really know if I know him anymore. I mean, I thought I did, but... Hmm. Kind of sighs. He is pretty different from what I hear Detective Prince is like. I assume he wasn't as grumpy back then as he is now. Oh no, he was... He was really nice. Hmm. Very... <laughs> I mean, I guess for the most part it was just him being polite with the... You know, the talk show hosts, but... Even when we were hanging out between shows, um... He was really nice to my sister and I. And after, uh, oh gosh, she's getting emotional, which means I am starting to cry. Give me a sec. Hold you. <laughs> Yamazaki handshake Leo. Redheads who cry and make their players cry. This is true. This is correct. And she's, she says... After after what happened to, to Shima, sh he was one of the first people who were there for me, so. Well, if he was there for you on his own like that, then even if the whole Detective Prince thing was kind of an act, If he was there for you, then it can't all have been. He's still- he's grumpy, and <laughs> he's kind of mean, but he's- he's still someone who helps people, and he's- he's really nice to my little brother. So. God, I'm so tempted to give Leo a little something. Chin hands? Uh, I think... <laughs> Thank you, audience. I, I think, I think, um... I think, um... As you're saying this, she does kind of, like, nod a little bit and um and she says um I hope so I hmm. I hope it 
wasn't an act. He, I think, he really can be nice, and he really does care a lot for some people. It's, I just hope he can realize that, too. I, and this is probably going to sound kind of ridiculous, but I missed him a lot. Leo uh, kind of shrugs and shakes his head, and it's like, I mean, I don't think it's ridiculous to miss him like that. If you two were close, and from my understanding, he kind of disappeared, basically, while he was in Inkwell. So it makes sense. Well, it's not just that, um... When he, when he disappeared, um, oh, sh sure, the news blew up about it. Just Detective Prince Shiro Zumi, ace detective, you know, just up and disappearing one day. It wasn't... It was news for a while, and then it just kind of went quiet. And Leo makes a face at that. If you want to roll an insight. Yeah. <laughs> okay, that's a... That's a decent roll. What was your insight mod again? I think it was, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Leo makes a face. And with the 16, Yamazaki can tell that when he says, Yeah, I know what that's like. He does know what that's like. Like, he very personally knows what it's like to have people have, like, a whole media storm that just dies off pretty abruptly. <laughs> And he just, she just kind of sighs because that does track with what she knows about you and and Sam. Mm. And I think what she ends up saying is, um, I mean, the election was pretty much right after that, so I guess I just found something more interesting to look into. Leo kind of runs a hand through his hair as he sighs and it's like, yeah, it just, I, man, I hate the media. And she just nods sagely. People die, they go missing. All it is to them is some story to make money. But, I mean... Izumi is kind of taking a bit of a social break. But... Um... My my brother's been going to see him. If you have any, any message or something you'd want to pass on. Hmm. I think she pauses and I like, actually genuinely takes a pretty long moment to think about it before she, she just settles on could you just tell him that I miss him yeah totally I <laughs> she kind of shrugs and says, I kind of want to see him again. 
definitely. I can I can see how he's feeling and, and ask him about it and tell him. Uh but uh here. And that was a hammer space roll. Uh and he from his sleeve he's not trying to mask it as a magic trick because you know tunes uh <laughs> it's that same like like handkerchief string just tied t- together <laughs> and he unties the one at the very end and hands it to her yeah she kind of like uh wipes at her eyes with it Um, I'm tempted. Do I roll off of your last insight, or do I have you roll again? I could roll again. Roll again. (laughs) I want to see if you get uh, get a higher roll. I... (laughs) By one! By one! (laughs) That's a modified 23. All right. So, a combination of things. Um. (laughs) So, you know how Azumi's like. You know he puts on the nice boy facade as an Mm. act. Especially to people he doesn't know and doesn't like. Uh. So a combination of the fact that he went out of his way to make sure that, like, Yamazaki wasn't alone after what happened to her sister, Mm. plus the fact that she wants to see him again, it must have been pretty serious on Azumi's side. (laughs) I'm trying so hard not to metagame. Because, because, good end Leo is just smug cat face. <laughs> but Leo doesn't know that. <laughs> he can't know that yet. It must have been pretty serious on Azumi's side. Mm. But also, oh, she might have a crush. <laughs> it's a, you can have a little smug cat face as a treat. As he, uh, as, as Yamazaki is, was wiping her eyes, Leo, to try to lighten the mood a little bit, and also because, well, they're friends now, it's time to be a little shit. As he, uh, still casually, like, back leaning against the fence, just kind of, just looking up at the sky. Oh. Your mic did the thing again. Is it? Fuck. Yeah, it stopped, but holy shit. I hope that didn't catch on recording. Hang on. Uh, if you've never heard it, it probably won't be on yours, but since mine came through my headphones, it might have caught onto mine. Okay, that is weird. Huh. Okay. Anyway. <laughs> Any hoosies. Uh, where was I? Oh, yeah. Leo just kind of... Just, just casually... Uh, just casually looking up, leaning against the fence, and it's like, uh, you know, maybe it's just me, but, and I mean, I don't know you very well, but, uh, I didn't think people could be into Izumi like that. And, uh, hang on. (laughs) Oh, honey, that's not gonna save you. (laughs) Her face goes red. <laughs> oh, darling. And she just gets very, like, flustered as she's just, oh, no, it's it's not like that. Okay, okay. Stop, it's not like that. <laughs> <laughs> well, I can at least tell you that Seriously, if Izumi was there for you like that, he's not the kind of guy 
who would go out of his way like that if he didn't like someone. So, I mean... You know. <laughs> Sorry, all the Yamazaki is handing me his internal screaming. <laughs> <laughs> Hands Yamazaki a little shit, younger brother. Stop. It's not funny. <laughs> And she's like so red faced it kind of is funny. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, Leo's like, oh no. I mean, <laughs> your face is starting to match your hair a little. And like uh brings a hand to her cheek and she's just oh, stop that <laughs> 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 kinda just shoves your arm. <laughs> Listen, I can't help it. I am like Third youngest. <laughs> Have to remember to count Camille as younger brother. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, hang on. Alright. Yamazaki just kind of does a pout <laughs> at you. <laughs> and yep. she's just Okay, I can see why Satomi Senpai likes you. <laughs> <laughs> he adopted me because I'm naturally endearing and very charming. <clears throat> Excuse me. I thought that was gonna be a funny we're talking about Arata and he's here now. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I could. Good. <laughs> I, I, it would be kind of out of nowhere, but, like. Did we, did we have more things that we wanted Yamazaki and Lee to talk about? I mean, I don't have anything on my end. Hmm. Up to you. Leo, like, holds his hands up again, and he's like, alright, but moving on from Izumi, I guess. Uh. She, she has this look on her face that is like, we better be changing the topics right now. <laughs> right now, immediately. <laughs> Leo lets out another laugh and is like, uh... So, I assume you and your sister really like gymnastics? <laughs> I mean, yeah, it, it's our shared dream to be at the top of the International League. And she kind of pauses and glances back up towards the uh, unfinished uh, stadium and says, Well, I guess I'm just trying to fulfill that dream for her now. And Leo nods and is just. You must really love her a lot. I think she'd be proud of you either way. Oof. Okay. What was your... What was... I think it was... Okay, yeah. That's what I thought. There's a jig. Oof, okay, that's better. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, we're good. Are these are these wind saves? Yeah. Thank goodness for cast our advantage. Yeah. <laughs> you you see her like pause at that, kinda like almost a little bit like surprised. 
before she, like, brings that, like, handkerchief back up and wipes at her eyes again. That kind of got her. Leo hands up apologetically this time and is like, ah, sorry, I, I didn't, um... No, 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 you're, you're fine. I'm... Sorry, I... <laughs> I'm not usually the crybaby here. <laughs> that used to be my little sister. What is it with the younger siblings being the crybabies? <laughs> that was also me. Oh. Uh, well, to be honest, Shima, <laughs> Shima used to cry about almost anything. <laughs> And, uh, she, she's like, uh, I think she doesn't even catch herself. She doesn't even realize that she starts, like, rambling a little bit about her little sister. And she says, you know, the only reason she got into gymnastics was because I started doing it, too. So, <laughs> she just kind of wanted to follow me around, I guess. <laughs> And Leo kind of snorts and is like, I mean, I guess that makes sense with siblings. Though this does feel like a call out. Because <laughs> I'm the younger sibling who's also a crybaby. And I guess I kind of got into Phantom Thieves because our Sen was really into Phantom Thieves. <laughs> I guess we have a lot in common then. <laughs> I guess so. <laughs> yeah, I... I mean... It's true. I think... She would be proud of you. And, uh... I guess after... Um... My mom and... Sen... Um... Passed away... I didn't get to hear things like that a lot, so, um, since we have so much in common, I wanted to make sure that you got to hear something like that. And she has this kind of soft smile on her face, and she kind of says, <laughs> thank you. Um... Would you mind if I call you Leighton Poon? Oh, uh have at it. I don't I don't mind. <laughs> right, I just wanted to be polite, that's all. No, that's understandable. <laughs> and she kinda laughs at that and smiles. Congratulations, officially friends. <laughs> Hell yeah. Great, because Leo has also handed me tears. Oh. <laughs> All right. Two crying redheads. What will they do? <laughs> Cry probably. <laughs> As Leo like takes off his glasses to very quickly just like rub at his face. You see her almost about to, like, offer her handkerchief, but then she realized, like, wait, you gave this to her. <laughs> <laughs> Leo, Leo kind of laughs is that, at that, and it's like, nah. Actually, you can go ahead and keep that. Oh, are you sure? Yeah, I mean, I could get a lot more. They're just for magic tricks most of the time anyway. Oh, you like to do magic? Oh, yeah, I, uh, well, I mean, like, the magic magic, and, uh, I, I'm starting to dabble a little into stage magic. I mean, both are called magic for a reason. Correct. Uh, 
I would demonstrate, but uh, it is a little harder for me to pull off here in Yeddo. <laughs> and she pauses and then just kind of nods like, okay, yeah, understandable. <laughs> No, I guess this is, uh, this is, this is, uh, something that'll give me a reason to actually get better at the sleight of hand thing and not only rely on my hammer space. <laughs> I guess it's a little bit cheating. I mean, if you're getting practice, it still works. I mean, you could probably talk to, um, to S Satomi Senpai about some sleight of hand stuff. I know he's really good at it. Man, but if I ask Arata about it, there's absolutely no way he's not gonna hold it over my head that I'm asking him for a sleight of hand advice. <laughs> well, he is your older brother, and it is an older brother's job to tease you. Yeah, I mean, that doesn't mean I have to give him the ammo. <laughs> That's a fair point. <laughs> if he wants something to tease me about, he's gonna have to find it out on his own. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think she does actually, like, laugh at that. <laughs> <laughs> And Leo's just grinning. <laughs> and if we had nothing else, I would like to propose Arata showing up, like, kind of out of breath, because he was looking for Leo. Yeah, no, Arata comes in, uh, like, doing, like, that sort of, like, half jog when you're, uh, when you're, like, out of breath, but you're still kind of in a hurry. <laughs> mm-hmm. And he, uh, he comes up towards the, uh, towards the construction site, and he's just, like, out of breath, just, Leo! Ugh! Hands on his knees, panting. Leo looks at him, blinks, It's like, oh yeah, I was lost! <laughs> Yeah, you were lost? Were, th were you just here the whole time? Maybe so. You just see him, like, stand back up straight and, like, sighs. And then he just says, Hi, Yamazaki-san. And Yamazaki just laughs and says, Hi, Satomi <laughs> Senpai. And Leo is like, well, while you were running around, uh, like, while you were running around and looking for me, I made a new friend, and, uh, we're best friends now, and we were talking about you. Oh, awful. Horrible. <laughs> what were you talking about? What did you like to know, weather boy? Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> you see how mean he is to me? Do you see that? I can't just give him things. <laughs> And you just see, like, Yamazaki just nod, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, nod sagely. <laughs> Arata gets bullied. Arata gets bullied at the end of the FPS. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're both just nodding. <laughs> and he's just, uh, you hear, like, from Arata's bag, just meowed laughter. <laughs> As Leo's like, oh, oh no, continue. Oh, as Leo's like, uh, but yes, uh, Miss Yamazaki and I are now uh, best friends, and um, we're gonna get soda, and you're not invited. I'm gonna make him a bento box. Oh, please make sure he eats. No. <laughs> Look at him. He's so scrawny. No. <laughs> And Arata just starts, like, poking at your side. <laughs> but yeah, I think that's a good place to start to wrap up. Yeah, there's a, there's a high squeak 
when Arata pokes him and then he's reaching for Arata's arm to bite him. <laughs> and, yeah, um, before we end off, though, you'd probably, like, say your goodbyes to, to Yamasaki-san as mm. she, um, she continues to just, like, hang out around the, um, the construction site and Arata's probably, like, taking you back to the hotel. Um, it is probably when you are, like, out of her range that I am going to have you roll. Let's just do a wisdom check. Oh, shit. Just a straight wisdom check? Just straight wisdom. Yo, baby, that's a dirty 20! <laughs> oh, hell yeah! He got an 18 on the dice! Nice! Okay, that's perfect. Which means I can be ominous with this. Fuck yes! Hand it over! Okay. Um, the more you're thinking about, uh, your conversation with Yamazaki, you're probably, like, on the train, sticking very, very close to Arata because, boy, the trains are crowded. Yeah, uh, they are crowded and loud. Um, you realize something, uh, while you're thinking back on your conversation. There were a few points in that conversation that just felt weird. Mm. You're not exactly sure, but two of the biggest points that just stick out were... Uh, when Yamazaki was talking about her sister, her younger sister, and when she told you her name, and you're not sure why, but it almost feels like very, very light static, prickling mm. at your uh, skin, you know, kind of making your uh, the the hair on your arm stand on your on end. Mm. It's not unnerving, it's just weird. And you don't think she noticed it either. So you're- with a- with a modified 20, you don't think it was something on purpose from her end. And with that ominous note, thank you so much for listening in! Thank uh, you for playing with me, Ozzy. <laughs> uh, thank you so much for agreeing to do this FPS. Uh, <laughs> Hell yeah, we love a pair of redheads who have been through it. They sure have been through it, trademark. Um, and thank you to our listening audience, both now and in the future. Uh, with that, we're going to bid you a good time zone.